Hey, thanks for tuning in today. This is part three of a series of five parts. And the first part, we had talked about taking back control of your life by um, taking back control of what um, you are giving your attention to. Okay. And part two, do you remember what part two is? Is remember, you cannot own success. You rent it every day. And knowledge has the potential to be powerful. So I know you've already watched part one and part two, so you already know those things, so we're not going to go over it. Today we're going to go about a uh, talk about choices. Today is all about choices. Big choices, little choices, choices, period. Okay? So that's what we're talking about today. Um, choices... Um, you, you don't have to make big, huge, heroic, grand choices in order to reach your goal. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people give up. I know I have. I've given up on my goals many of times just because before I even tried to reach the goal, I have decided that the choices I would have to make would be too big, would be too grand. But I'm here to tell you that that's not true. You don't have to have big, huge, heroic, grand choices to meet your goals. To meet your goals, think about it. All you have to really do is just make small, seeming, seemingly minute choices every day to reach your goals. So let's say your choice is to lose some weight and feel better. Maybe not be so lethargic, but have energy, have a clearer mind, and just overall just feel better and to be able to exercise and be active. You can choose every day to drink eight ounces more water than you did the day before. Is eight ounces of water a lot? No, that's not. It's just a little bit. And you can choose when you go to the restaurant, you can choose to have um, a chicken, grilled chicken salad, dressing on the side, and no cheese, okay? Or you can choose to have that double cheeseburger, french fries, and the chocolate shake. Are either one of those choices going to hurt you, offend you, scare you, make you sad? No. Actually, in fact, if you choose the cheeseburger, the french fry, and the shake, you might feel happy for a moment. But I guarantee you, if your goal is to be healthy, within an hour of eating that, you are going to feel bad. That is a promise. Okay? But if you choose that chicken salad or the chicken stir fry or the grilled chicken and the baked plain baked sweet potato... You aren't going to feel any joy. No one feels joy in eating that. Well, unless you're me. I love grilled chicken and baked sweet potatoes. But what you will have is you will feel better as the day goes on. You won't feel bad. You won't feel sick. You won't have a tummy ache. You will have clear thinking. And you won't crave food. So, yeah, you will feel better. So it's all about choices. This is what day three comes down to. Choices and accountability. Okay? You hear me? So choices and accountability and tune in and we will talk tomorrow for part four of the series of five.